No, just place one more. Yeah, just keep placing one at a time so we know the exact amount. Takes to get through the door. <laughs> Back off, Ada. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Two. Two breaks down. Hello. What's up guys, Jeff's back with another video. This time we will cover everything there is to know about explosive jars and how to craft them. And as you can see here you need dragon powder, tar and also earthenware jug. And two of those items are very common and easy to make. The earthenware jug is just 50 rocks. Uh, tar is a byproduct from the tannery when you make leather. So basically this video is going to be about the dragon powder. And I'm going to show you what you need to make one. Uh, and in this fireball cauldron I have steel fire, brimstone, demon blood and crystals. So those four items mixed together will create a dragon powder. And I'm also going to, in the video I'm going to show you everything you need, where you, where you get it, how you make them and so on. So to make one dragon powder you need 100 steel fire, 10 brimstone, two demon bloods and 50 crystals so um, my crafting queue is a little bit bugged I, I'm pretty sure you've seen that that's gonna be fixed soon I guess but we're gonna start off with the demon blood which is probably the hardest well it is the hardest thing to get it's not very hard it just takes a little bit of time it's easier done with a group maybe we are in the video here we are three people doing uh, the dragons in the ruins and I'll show you on the map where it was. <clears throat> so basically you have to kill these dragons to, to get... Once you kill them, just harvest them and you get demon blood. Try to use your absolute best hatchet. Because the better hatchet you have, the more, more items you get. Uh, in this area there is also demon bats, which can drop this demon blood. But for to be sure, uh, to be most efficient effective just go for the dragons uh, so now moving on to make the steel fire this is very simple again you need tar which is like I said before it's a byproduct from the tannery and you mix that in the fireball cauldron together with brimstone and that creates steel fire I'll give you a small tip here uh, since you need the fireball cauldron multiple times here you needed to make steel fire and you, you needed to make the dragon powder and so on just make a couple of fireball cauldrons it will help you a lot so I'll show you real quick on the map here um, you want to look for a white area in the desert northwest of the map uh, for these brimstone rocks you can see on the map there it's the pointy rocks that's in the water you want to harvest them that it gives you loads of brimstone very easy and the, the last thing I want to show you is the crystals and these can be found in any cave I would say but I would, the spider cave seems to be best, the best bet. So go to the spider cave, one trip will give you hundreds of these crystals so that's no problem. Uh, so now we have gathered everything, you know how to do the dragon powder and now we're gonna actually start crafting the explosive jars. So I made enough so I, I can craft three. I have three dragon powder, I have 30 tar, and I have three uh, earthenware jugs. And that's all, that's it, that's it basically. It's a little bit of a farm for the dragons. Um, it takes a while to make the steel fire and so on, but it's fairly easy. Hopefully this video could help you out. Um, if it did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more videos. And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time.